Hey, shalom, brothers and sisters. Good evening. Uh, welcome back with Brother Steve within the work, coming out the city of Detroit. I hope y'all doing well this evening. Hope your families are well. Well, today, brothers and sisters, I have a video for you. Um, it's with great dismay and, and disdain that I have to bring this video, but I, I want to bring a warning uh, to the ladies women out there who are working in, in certain industries. Um, I'm going to share a video with y'all before I do so. I want to uh, read the fair use. Uh, fair use, fair use. Uh, this copyright laws of the United States recognizes a fair use of copyright content. Section 107 of the U.S. Copyright Act states, notwithstanding the provisions of sections 106, 106A, uh, the fair use of copyrighted work, including such by reproduction and copies of phone records or by any other means specified by that section. Uh, now this will be used for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, uh, teaching, including multiple copies for classroom usage, scholarship, and or research. Uh, this is not an infringement of copyright. Brothers and sisters, I came across a video. Um, um, of a lady involved in the sex industry uh, in Houston. Now, some of y'all may have seen this, some of y'all may, may have not. I'm gonna play the video and then I'm gonna come back with my commentary uh, once I'm once the video completes. All right, y'all check this out. Fair use. Murdering and dismembering a woman. This is after taking her to his West Houston apartment. Fox 26's Domley Keith joining us live with a warning for thousands of Houstonians. Domley. Now, according to court records, Felicia Johnson and the man now charged with her murder, they agreed to meet up on Snapchat and he was supposed to pay her $500. That's according to court records. Well, she hasn't been seen since. And tonight there is a warning for the thousands of Houstonians who work in the sex industry. Anybody can become a victim of a villain. That's the first point Precinct 1 Human Trafficking Victim Services Director Catherine Griffin wants to drive home. Let the murder of 24-year-old Felicia Johnson be a learning lesson and don't think it can't happen to you. It is so dangerous and every media outlet should be screaming from the rooftops on how dangerous this is, and let stories like this be known. Chuku Eduka Uwabido is now charged with murdering and dismembering Felicia Johnson after investigators say her blood was found in his apartment. Court documents show she was last seen April 16th, leaving her hotel in an Uber paid for by Uwabido. On April 17th, investigators say he bought a handheld and a power saw, towels and trash bags, and according to court records, even as Uwabido searched the internet for things like, can bleach destroy DNA? and the most forested part of Houston. He also Googled Houston escorts. And there are tens of thousands here. I would estimate and say anywhere from 70 to 80,000 sex industry workers daily. That's a lot, just in Houston, Harris County. Yes. yes. Griffin wants sex workers to do a few things to stay safe, such as don't meet at a client's home, but most of all, she wants you to know help getting out of this industry is available. It's very vitally important that individuals know to reach out to us so that we can help. Now, Precinct One can help with everything from treatment to therapy to housing and finding a job. We have contact information for them on our website, Felicia Johnson's Body Body. All right, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Johnson lost her life for 500 bucks. Quick money, fast cash. I don't know if she was a mother. Um, she may have been. I'm sure some of those of you that live in, in that, that city may, may know of who this person is down there in Houston. But brothers and sisters, I want to convey something to you. Ladies, it's not worth it. 
It's not worth it to prostitute your body for 500 bucks, 200 bucks, 100 bucks, 1,000 bucks, 5,000 bucks. What's it gonna cost you? You see here, we have, a, we have now an epidemic of sex workers. And this industry is now pushing these type of financial opportunities for women. This lady lost her life for 500 bucks. She went to a house of a guy that cut her up, chopped her up, and dismembered her entire body. And she didn't even see it coming. She did not see it coming. It's not worth it. Some of y'all want to go ahead and do this because times are tough. Times are hard. Well, this is Brother Steve coming out of the city of Detroit telling you and warning you not to prostitute and sell your bodies. Prostitution in itself is the ceiling of one soul. You'd be better off just getting a job. Some of these fast food jobs, brothers and sisters, they pay 15, 20 bucks an hour now. Somebody's daughter, potentially somebody's mother, somebody's aunt, somebody's sister. And I'm going to be honest with you. That news reporter said that 70 to 80,000 Sex workers are working in this ind industry. And she went online. Snapchat, I believe. Snapchat. So she booked up an appointment to go see a John. And this John ended up being a damn Jeffrey Dahmer. A murderer. He even did the research and Googling about how to destroy DNA and blood evidence. For any of you ladies that's going to receive this, this message in this video, I pray that you do. I love you enough to tell you the truth. This is not the time to be transgressing the laws of the Most High God in Christ. There's judgment upon this place. Times are dangerous. There are nihilists out here. Reprobate, evil, wicked people out here. They have no regard for life. Let me tell y'all something, family. This guy didn't really, really want sex for me. He just wanted to murder. For the thrill of it. And the young lady lost her life for a couple dollars. I'm warning y'all, stay offline. Stay off these, 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 these pages. Like I say, Brother Steve don't know about them like that. I know of them. And I'm straight up appalled. 70 to 80,000 women are involved down there in Houston. And that's just one city. So that conceptually tells me that there's an exponential number of women across the country, whether you're in the major cities, whether you're in the suburbs, they're a part of things like this. The wages of sin is death. And I pray for, the fa for this lady's family. My condolences to her family. Satan was right there waiting on her. And she didn't see it coming. 
So my warning and call to y'all ladies out there who is trying to make a quick buck and a quick dollar. Don't do it. Don't sell your soul for a couple of dollars. Unless you end up like Felicia Johnson. Chopped up and dismembered. All right. Well, brothers and sisters, I appreciate the opportunity to come to you with, an, uh, with another video. I'm truly thankful. It's always an honor. May a wall of fire be around every single one of you. May a wall of fire be around your children, your households. May the spirit of peace and rest go ahead of you as you travel to and fro in this wicked and evil earth. In the name of your shy Christ Jesus, let the blood cover and protect every single one of you. Well, brothers and sisters, this is Brother Steve within the world coming out of the city of Detroit. I bid you farewell. Shalom. Bless you. And I'm out. Y'all take care. Peace. Stay up.